Hey guys, this is Jeremy Smith with 78 Productions. I'm here at Youth for Christ headquarters in Denver, Colorado. We are going to be having our midwinter uh, conference this week. We have it once every two years, and all of our sending agency ministries are going to be here. We have our high school and middle school ministry. We have the military ministry, which I'm a part of. Um, we're going to have our Deaf Teen Quest ministry, um, juvenile justice, our teen moms, all these different organizations coming together to be able to be renewed, inspired, trained, and to really just be able to talk with one another and understand the pains that we uh, go through and to hopefully be encouraged to be able to go back out into ministry. But I want to talk to you guys today about the idea of being you. And I think there's this idea within ministry that there is the perfect youth worker. He's the slick haired, well dressed, um, always has the perfect sermon for the perfect time, with the perfect games, plays guitar, but that's not me. And I don't know about you guys, but it, it almost seems like it's this unattainable image of what it means to be a youth worker. And if I were to try to do youth ministry, it would look nothing like that. I don't have a musical skill. I'm obviously not the most socially dressed. That's why I have my wife who dresses me as best she can. But this idea that we strive to be something we're not for nothing more than to get a little bit more attention seems to be an illusion we should not be holding on to. So the idea that we should always be up front hitting every single person is unrealistic. I know when I came into ministry just volunteering, not even being a paid staff youth worker, and I don't say just a volunteer to mean anything less, but my entire focus was solely on kids. I didn't have to worry about the admin part. And so to be able to be a volunteer youth worker, I found myself constantly driven towards the kids that stood in the back corner of the room that didn't want to talk, didn't want to do the games, um, and really was just trying to fit in but didn't know how to work. That was my kid that I just naturally started talking to. So the idea that I am standing up front and all, all in front of all these kids to be able to do this ministry that um, has this ideation of what it should be is very interesting. And I would encourage you guys to rethink what it means to be a youth worker. How can you transform what you do so that you're not trying to be someone from the OC? I love Josh Griffin. And Josh Griffin does amazing ministry. And he even would tell you to not emulate what he does. Maybe he has some good ideas, maybe he has some good practices, but don't emulate him to the complete extent that you're dressing like him and trying to pull everything off that he does because that's not you. I know for me, I'm a very introverted person. I love small groups, I love one-on-one -on -one meetings, and that's where I thrive. I love talking to the kid in the back of the room that just doesn't want to participate in sharing who Jesus is with him. And something connects between us. So I encourage you guys to be you in ministry, to find out where you fit in all of this, and to be able to expand and let God speak through you, because that's where the power of it is. In our weaknesses, God can speak. And so if we try to be somebody we're not, we're basically dismissing God's talents in us and his ability to speak through us. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. How do you be you in ministry, and how do you serve God to the fullest? We'll talk to you guys next week.